today I'm going to take you on a walk through Tribeca. Tribeca is located in downtown Manhattan in New York City for those that don't know what I'm talking about. But I'm basically going to just try to, um, instead of, I'll see if I can find new stuff to talk about. But I'm also going to think really hard about stuff I remember. I have a lot of memories and stories to share, but uh, it just depends what we come across. That'll remind me to ring a bell and share a story or find some graffiti or just weird old stuff or new cool stuff. I was originally going to just walk down Canal Street, but uh, I figured that would be too easy. It's kind of like anybody could do that. Tribeca, I think, is a little different. And uh, I could think of a few good things to show you if, I, if it's still there or if I could remember. But yeah, I don't know. It's just a chill day to take a walk. So one of the hiccups about trying to see some graffiti on the walls, especially on canal in the daytime on a weekday, is that there's a lot of cars in the way and businesses are open and not everything's so visible. So this wall would have been cool to see, except all the cars are there. See, there's tons of alleyways up that way, but that's more towards uh, Lower East Side and uh, Chinatown. I'm gonna stick on the. I'm gonna stick to this side of Broadway. I actually had no idea that there was even a building here. This must be brand new. This random like sculpture, of these crowns. So it was either 2000 or 2001. I was in college and um, I interned here. I met one of my first uh, internships at a trying to get a job and it was for Miramax Films. I don't know if they're still in the building, but I remember it was right before, it was a few months actually before 9-11. It was in the summertime. And I remember I was in the, um, in the department that made the movie posters. And I, I worked on, I worked on the scary movie poster. I forget which scary, I think it was scary movie two with Busta Rhymes in it. And I had to sort through all the, the photo slides because fo the photography was still all film and on slides, it wasn't digital. And I remember having to take the, the, the streak pen and, and X out the ones that weren't good or whatever. And then I had to organize the posters in the closet and no, nothing ever became, became of it. I don't know, I just was uh, all over the place at the time. But it's crazy memories. I remember definitely crazy memories. This was actually one of like the last parking lots left around that had graffiti in it. That artist Richard Hamilton that passed away had a, one of his shadow characters on this wall. I definitely have a photo of that and I'm definitely gonna upload it with, while I'm speaking right now. I'm gonna upload it with the edit because I think about it every time I pass, like it was just there and then he passes away and all of a sudden, you know, everyone wants to acknowledge him. Like why wasn't people acknowledging him when he was alive? And 
taking pictures of his stuff and I got tons of pictures of Richard Hamilton's art in the street. Obviously in the 80s it was more, there was more of it but it just kind of lingered around in parking lots and random cutty spots up until all the buildings started getting knocked down in the past 10 years or so. like an EA EA RIS he passed away it's pretty crazy it's a really faded tag it's probably pretty old I love I love the old tags This is a pretty rare, lesser known gem right here. I normally feel a little guilty about kind of showing this kind of stuff, but it's kind of cool. I hope people appreciate it and respect it. But this is an original Mare, Mare 139 and Shy 147. Shy 147 passed away. Early Tra subway era train riders really legendary the only place you're gonna see tags of his is probably in the train yards in the, in the subway tunnels not on the streets so that's probably one of the last ones around This is cool, this is, truck is still here. This has been here for several years. Um, Noah, Noah TFP, and I believe DG, who passed away also. DG passed away. Um, they did this tribute piece for uh, Cairo, who was a Staten Island writer, who passed away. So I think DG and Noah worked on this. It's really great, it's still here. Oh yeah, Saga. Saga did this side. It's actually a Todd James Reese wall in there pretty cool that's such a crazy sticker it's a rollerblader doing a fish brain with a spray can and that's what it was all about at one point I mean, that's my generation. That's my era of coming up. This was such a famous spot for rollerbladers. I mean, this was like a famous... People would actually... You know, at the time when rollerblading was actually like really dominant, people would come from all over the world to skate this rail.
This was done by Steven Espo Powers, better known as Espo. Pretty famous graffiti writer, Philly graffiti writer legend. He's been doing a lot of those, that signage, the, that kind of signage on large buildings for a long time now. It's a pretty cool Space Invader. That's been there for a while. It's just like in Paris, those things are everywhere. See, if you look really close, you could see an Espo tag. I can't make out the other one. I think it's one of his other partners he paints with. And uh, Tim Curtis. Wow, okay, this is cool. There's a bunch of like hidden names in the, um, in the wall on the window. It's hard to see, there's like a glare. It's a good one. I wonder if he did these on the inside because they're, they're backwards on the window. But I wonder from the inside what it looks like. Oh, here's another one. Oh, this is a, a Nemel, Nemel DFW. I mean, in all of, in all of Stephen Powers murals, there's always like subtle hints and messages to his close friends or the surroundings of where he's painting. Honored to remember Stan 153. It's really cool. I'm glad I walked down here. I gotta go to Philly and, and uh, do some videos of the ones in Philly. I have photos of them, but it's cool to get on video too. I think you used to be able to go to the end here. This fence is new. To walk around the back of the pier. Man, I love these piers. It's gonna be a shame if they ever completely level them or renovate them. Yeah, to get up on that catwalk would be awesome. They must have had fun painting this. That looks really cool in there. I'm gonna come back another time. I don't have time today to really be talking to people, but I wanna go hang out in there and see, say what's up to them. It's pretty cool. Care, another Philly legend. Another really great one he did was in downtown Brooklyn at the old Macy's parking garage. It got demolished. I have tons of pictures of it, but I don't have any video. But I'm gonna do, if I ever do a downtown Brooklyn video, I'm gonna definitely include some pictures from the parking garage that Espo did. It was a massive project. It's crazy with all this construction. This is all new news to me. This is all insane construction. This one building is just still here. I wonder if it's completely abandoned. But this has always been a kind of a famous spot. Everybody's tagged this building at one point in time. It's 
funny this is even still here. This is another real classic landmark spot. So Don Hills, I used to go here. There's like a rock bar. It's crazy, it hasn't even been demolished. Do you think like something like this, they just demolished it already? That's a tag that used to be everywhere. I think that's a newer one. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment if you like this video, and I'll catch you on the next video.